Hey guys, so Vivica A. Fox was asked what she thought about Taraji P's uh, work situation. And so let's look, watch it and react. We want to know, do you feel like um, now is the perfect time to have the conversation that Taraji kind of continued over Monique? You know, you're an actress, you've been out there. Is this the perfect time to kind of talk about that in the right platform? You know, darling, to each his own. Do you know what I mean? I'm very happy, very blessed, and uh, to each his own. I didn't have that experience, so, you know, but to uh, get your peace out is important. I totally understand that, and uh, I love my girls for looking out for each other, but uh, I'm good. Okay, so <laughs> we saw that. Um, what do you guys think? about Vivica's statement. A lot of people are upset that Vivica didn't uh, sign on to what Taraji was saying, her complaints about pay. Um, but I, I really think that, um, I think Vivica's situation is different than Taraji's. I think her experience is different. Um, and the reason I say that is I've never heard Vivica complain about her pay. Never, ever, ever have I ever heard that. If she, if, if she had complained before and then <laughs> didn't support her, then I could see, I could see people being upset, but I've, I've never heard her complain or anything about it. And, uh, you know, yeah, there's pay disparities, but she may feel like she's getting her worth. She may uh, have a good negotiator. She may, um, she may turn down deals because maybe she feel like they're not worth it, but maybe she hasn't. Um, I don't think she has because I, I like I said I've never heard her complain. So and you know this whole jump on a bandwagon thing because it sounds good um you know Yeah, yeah there's disparities but I you know I also feel like where is Taraji's responsibility in this too because why are you accepting things that you don't feel like you're paid for? Like, to me, that makes no sense. Like, why would someone need to treat you better if you just go ahead and work for less than what you feel like you're worth? Like, at what point do you feel like, okay, I have some responsibility here. Um, I mean, it's like to the point where she's crying and I'm just like, I guess I I guess I quite don't understand um because she is a millionaire um I think she's worth about 12 or 15 million now whether that money is just in all in assets and if she really doesn't have any cash I don't know I don't know her financial situation um like, is she over, um, is she in debt? Like, you know, a lot of people look rich, but they really aren't. So I'm just going by Google. It, it says that she's worth over, says she's worth, I think about either 12 or 15 million. And so, and I'm just, I, I don't know. I, I mean, I'm, I'm just like with the Taraji situation, I think that she may have some is something else going on, in my opinion, because how are you crying that much in that many interviews? Like there's people that they don't know how they're going to pay their rent. They can barely afford food. I know people that can't pay their phone bill. They can't, that have to put their medical care on credit cards they can't afford it y'all 
and you're crying uh, because you, you, you're making millions, but it's not enough millions. It just, uh, <laughs> I can't relate. And then the whole taking jobs that you feel like you're not getting your worth. I'm like, why are you taking the job? Why don't you say no? That will actually, to me, help the situation. Not taking the job and then, I'm so upset, you guys. Oh my God, I'm crying right now. That's why I'm like, is it really about that or is it something else? So, you know, and I think it's unfair that people are coming down on uh, Vivica because she was just minding her business. It wasn't like she's on this soapbox. You know, I think she did the right thing ultimately differentiating herself from Taraji. I don't think it was shady. I think people, a lot of people think it was shady because if she would have signed on, think about it. Let's think about it here. If she would have signed on to what Taraji was saying, right? Let's say she signed on. So then all her past work, those people that worked with her would be like, or, you know, signed her on, they would be like, is so she felt like she didn't get the money she deserved with, with 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 me. I thought we paid her well. You know, there will be a question would be going through their head like, is she talking about me? She had to differentiate herself. Hollywood, you all you have in Hollywood is your image. Like, if you get a reputation that you're not satisfied with anything. You, you take the job, right? You took the job, but you ain't satisfied with it. People are going to not, I'm not saying it's right. They're going to question working with you. If you take a job that you don't know if you're satisfied with the pay, and you but you took it, and later on you're like, you know what? I'm not getting the pay I deserve. People, when they, when they do sign sign you on they're gonna be like or thinking about signing you on they're gonna be like is she thinking she's underpaid here like what's going on she did negotiate she did sign on like there it's gonna be awkward so i'm not <laughs> i'm not mad at vivica at all for di differentiate herself like i said before i'm gonna repeat it i've never heard vivica complain and Vivica has been in the in Hollywood since the 90s. I've never heard her complain. So for people to put that on her, like that's her experience, I don't think that's fair. And she wasn't on some soapbox. They asked her. So I don't feel like it was shady at all. Could she have said it maybe a little bit more tweaked? Yeah, but I feel like she was kind of taken off guard. So... But I think ultimately she handled it well. I don't think she put Taraji down or anything. So um, that's my thoughts on it. Y'all tell me what you guys' thoughts is on this whole situation. Um, <laughs> um, and All right. And thanks for watching, you guys. Um, and I'll see you next time.